feel like everything's just crashing down. If this person got through that, I think I can get through this a lot better. In 2017, I lost my best friend of three years to suicide. Last year, I was going through a lot and I went to um, the hospital because I did try to kill myself. My mom passed away when I was seven years old and she committed suicide. My mom was sick for a long time. She was mentally ill for a long time before she passed away. So I have some good memories and some bad. They weren't all the same. The good memories that I have are few. Memories in general are few because I was so young, but um, I hold on to them, you know, the good ones that I have. One of my best friends committed suicide right as my brother was sent away to military school. And so I felt all alone and like I had nobody here for me. So I was on the verge of doing the same thing he did. After of like maybe a year or so of living with my dad, um, one of my brothers fell into depression. He wouldn't eat at all. He wouldn't um, talk with um, any of us. There was actually a, a once uh, when he went to our dad and said that he was having suicidal thoughts and that he wanted to kill himself. Having help does help like a lot because I figured out like talking to someone and just explaining to them what's going on does help. And I had to learn that the hard way because I kept it to myself. It just didn't help to keep it like bottled up. I got really bad anxiety and I guess depression because I rarely ever felt happy because I saw him. I Something a 12, 12, 13 year old shouldn't see is somebody dead on the side of the road. It's impacted me in ways that, you know, you would never imagine. Suicide doesn't just affect the person that it happens to, it affects all the people around. You know, my family, I have many siblings. I have, I'm one of five, and we haven't all been in the same room together in 10 years since my mom's been gone. And, you know, it, growing up without a mom is hard. It's hard, I have a wonderful stepmom now and she's great to me, but um, you never stop missing them, ever. I just think that anyone who is suffering with it, they should talk to someone. Whenever we were um, going through those times, we went to a counselor. It's not gonna be like that forever. And if you talk to someone, it will make you feel a lot better about yourself and it will, you know, open up those doors to where you can like actually talk to people, you can trust people, you won't uh, feel down all the time. If you are a youth and you see one of your friends struggling, please don't ignore it. Sometimes you are the first line of defense, many times you are the only line of defense. You may be the only person that your friend feels comfortable talking to and take them seriously. We see a lot of times uh, kids who use humor to uh, veil the seriousness of what they're talking about. Um, you know, we call it dark humor, you know, as we like to say. Um, any type of conversation about taking your own life is serious. And as a friend to that person, taking that seriously when that type of language is being used can be the first step in getting them the help that they need. I think one of the most important things is students feel like um, they don't want to betray a friendship and one of the things I try to educate them about um, and Mr. Veach as well is that is that you know when a student comes to you and they're having those types of feelings you are not betraying a trust you are helping them sometimes as friends sometimes as caretakers we have to learn that we have to speak up about something like this to prevent suicide there is a myth that people think that once you've considered suicide, you are high risk forever. You know, once you're a kid or once you know someone in the community who's ever thought about it, that they are forever going to be in that category of this, this they're a high risk person, they're scary, they're, you know, all these things. But the reality is that it usually is short term um, and that with the right resources, they may never 
that may never happen again. Last year, I got bullied a lot, but mainly by one person. She did tell me to kill myself, and I was really thinking about it. So I went to my mom for help, and I did get help. And it just took, it took a toll on my family too, because my mom, she, she got really hit really hard. Well, I want to say that, you know, suicide and mental health is not a joke. It's not a joke. It's a very real thing, and it does affect people's lives. And there are outlets, and there are ways to get help. My mom needed help and didn't receive the right help, and maybe if she had, she would still be here today. You know, as much as I've struggled with my depression over the years, I would never result to that because of the impact that it's had on everyone, including me. I could never do that to my family. I couldn't. And that the stigma against mental health, you know, it needs to be removed. There's no point. Everybody struggles with it one way or another. Finding someone that goes through the same thing that you went through helps a lot because you know that it gets better because they made it through it. If I saw, saw somebody struggling with someone who passed away, I, I want to pray with them immediately and let them know that God is by their side and that I'm by their side because I know how that feels. That really sucks. It's a horrible feeling and that everything's going to be okay. It may not ever feel like it at the moment, but in the, f in the future it will be. I, I know from experience it gets better, I promise. Just be nice to people. It's not that hard, just be nice. If you have something to say, just don't say it. Just keep it to yourself. They're, they might be going through stuff that you don't know. If I knew someone that was struggling with their mental health and you know was coming to me, confiding in me, you know, asking for, for help or just telling me their struggles, I would definitely encourage them to seek professional help. I didn't have the best attitude about it when I first started a couple years ago, but after, you know, starting and going through it, I really saw the benefit of it. It was very helpful. Sometimes all you need is somebody on the outside of the situation to help guide your thoughts and, you know, to help guide your emotions through it. It's very easy to get super emotional about things when you're a part of it but it's, it's awesome to have someone who is a professional and who's gone through training and certification and knows what they're doing to help you with all, all types of things. <laughs> I think we need to be more understanding as, as a society. I think that, you know, the pressures of life and the world that we live in, how fast paced it is, you know, I think we need to be more understanding that, you know, money isn't everything. You know, objects aren't everything, the people, you know, the impact you have on one another and what you say and what you do matters. It matters. Everyone needs to be more like that and to understand that everybody has their own demons and their own story and that, you know, we need to treat people with more compassion and have a further understanding that, hey, there's more to it than just what's on the outside.